How's it? My name is Parker. I'm a motion graphics designer and today I'm going to teach you how to do a time warp effect in Adobe After Effects. This is a cool effect. It's basically going to allow you to manipulate your video footage to change how quickly or slowly it's playing. It's basically like tweaking with slow motion uh, in After Effects. Pretty fun. Okay, so I've got a blank project. What I'm going to do is I'm going to import a movie and I've got this surf video I've been playing with. So I'm just going to pop that into the new comp button here to create a new composition with the same dimensions. And now what I want to do is um, I'm actually going to trim it because uh, there's this whole paddling in part that I don't really need. So I'm going to start it, you know, say right about here where my buddy Reggie pops into frame. And I'm going to hit Apple Shift D. And what that's going to do is it's going to splice the layer right wherever my timeline marker is. Uh, so I'm going to click that first one, hit delete. I'm going to scrub back to the beginning and hit the left bracket button right next to P after I select that section. And it's going to bring it back to wherever my marker is. So if I were to be here and hit it, you can see how it's sort of moving your uh, little piece of data around. So go to the beginning. And I am going to go up to Effect Time, Time Warp. Cool. So now I've got Time Warp applied to this movie, and I'm just going to bring up my Effect window here. Uh, you can also hit F3 to do the same. And you can see there's a total, like, huge number of options here to play with uh, the Time Warp. Uh, but right now, um, I'm going to show you the speed, which is probably my favorite part of it. Okay, so now I'm at the beginning and I want it to sort of start in real time. I want it to seem like, okay, this guy's in the water and he's paddling, it's real time. So what I want to do is I want to make this 100 in the speed parameter so that it's playing in real time right off the bat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to scrub forward to the point where I want it to slow down. So right now it's in real time. Okay, and then I catch the wave right about there. So at two seconds, I'm going to turn on the uh, speed clock watch so that in the first two seconds it's 100%. And then right as I catch it there, just after two seconds, I want it to slow down into that section where I actually get some this nice little tur carve there. So I'm going to say in 22 frames, so at 2 seconds and 22 frames, I want it to go down to 20% of speed. So now what it's going to do is at it's going to play in real time, and then at 2 seconds, it's going to slow way down and start playing in slow motion. Pretty cool. Super easy to do. Um, you know, really quick and fun, and it's going to play at 20% through the end there, um, unless I speed it back up, which we can do. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do a quick one. So let's pop up the little timeline here, toggle down the effect, time warp, and there you can see my first two keyframes. So I'm at two seconds, it slows way down, and then let's speed it back up right as it starts to crash there. So, okay. So we'll make another keyframe, 20%. And then maybe we speed it. Let's, let's ramp it. Let's go, say, up to 300%. So at the very end, it's just, poof, wave is over. Cool. All right, so that's a quick and easy way to make a slow motion effect using time warp in Adobe After Effects for your footage. Go ahead and play around with it, you know, whether it's a, a cool move you did in a game or, you know, a basketball shot, whatever it is, this is a great way to add some cool uh, style to a certain shot that you want to emphasize in slow motion. Um, my name is Parker. Send any requests that you might have to requests at mahalo.com. Have a good one.